Thank you, Peter. Wow, what a thrill it is for me to be here today to talk about my very good friend, Rankin McSween. Where's Rankin? There he is. Rankin and I go back a long way. Years and years and years. And I've listened to those great stories that he tells. And we have had so much fun. <coughs> whether it was that conference, I guess about 15 years ago, where I gave a speech, Get Along and Get Going, written in large part by Rankin, I must admit. Uh, in the days that we talked about community, I love this community almost as much as Rankin McSween does. And we talked about its vision, and the thing that Rankin always talks about is his community. And I remember one time we went up to, uh, Rankin came up with Jim McCormick and, and uh, uh, the existing mayor, John Morgan, and we met with Frank McKenna in my office um, uh, at the Home Depot in Toronto. And we talked about what community meant and what great communities, what strengths were in great communities. And we talked about ways in which we can grow our communities. And so. This is a man that really genuinely understands and is connected to you and to all of us. And even though I don't live day to day in this beautiful part of the world, this is my home. And when Rankin asked me to speak to you today to announce, to listen to the announcement that he will be making, I wanted to say a few words about him. I've known him for many years, and so I come with a lot of experience, and maybe I come in and out of his life um, uh, a bit, but I, knew, I do know this man, and I have an enormous amount of respect for him. He really is a person that understands that success can only happen when you create an environment of inclusion, that success is when all parties come to the table and you figure out the common goal and common solution. He's a man that doesn't look for problems, he looks for solutions. He's a man that understands that together you can make great things happen. He's, he's determined and he's eternally optimistic, a great, great trait that I think every public office person should hold. To be optimistic, I mean, how can't you be optimistic? living in this beautiful place. Yes, are there issues, are there challenges? Do we want our boys to come back home? Yes. Do we want more jobs? Yes. But if you don't do it in an optimistic way, you won't get there. He's a humble man. I know, I see you all shake your heads. He truly is a humble man. Um, he serves his community. He is a servant of his community. And that takes great strength. He's non-judgmental. He's got opinions, but I'll tell you, he's got an extraordinary open mind, and he's a great listener. I was with my brother the other day, the other night at a party, and uh, Rankin and Marie were there, and Stephen says to me, Annette, you know this man? He's a great listener. And I said, yeah, he is a great listener, one of his great attributes. Um, he considers. He converses, and he acts. He's a great communicator. My golly, he's even answering his Blackberry at the moment. <laughs> Rankin. But he truly, he's an inspirer. He's got enormous amounts of energy. And he's wanted to do this for a long time. I have asked him to be mayor of of, of this community, I have asked him to get involved politically for a long, long time. He gets along well with, with seniors, he gets along well with young people. Um, he, he, he connects, right? Connecting. Connecting is what you want. He's a man of integrity. He stands up for what is right. And that's not often, that's, that's not often the most popular position, but man, People that have guts and courage and take action impress the heck out of me. He wants this community to advance economically. He understands the importance 
of economic development with social development. It's a, it's a tough balancing act. It really is. He, he has extraordinary experience as president of New Dawn. 130 jobs in this community. You're probably one of the biggest employers. Um, and the challenges that you've gone through uh, over the years have been enormous. Rankin believes in winning, not whining. Rankin looks at strengths before weaknesses. Rankin is a man that puts you before himself. And I am so honored to introduce this great leader to you today. Come on up, Rankin. Say hello to this crowd that loves you. Woo! I am so wired here for sound. <laughs> so I, I think I got it. Um, thank you, Annette. Um, and uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for being here. Oh, that was quite lovely. Do you, know, do you know what I was thinking? I was thinking if I knew exactly when I was going to die, I would book Annette right now to do the eulogy at my funeral. 